Hey y'all, baby, I'm back. This cooking with Tip, y'all. I can't lie this morning. I told y'all my niece was gonna come videotape me doing my salisbury steak for y'all. And that's just what I got coming to y'all. So today again, we're doing some mushroom salisbury steak. And I'm doing a side of homemade potatoes to, you know, top it off. So I've been gone a minute, but I'm back, y'all. Yes, and you know what? I never stir you wrong. Boom, let's get it. So right here, I got about three pounds of uh, ground beef, y'all. Ground beef, okay? I got my baby uh, Bella mushrooms. I got some breadcrumbs. Um, we're gonna put a little thyme in it. The Tonys, baby, the Tonys, y'all already know. We got Tonys. Some garlic powder, some onion powder. We're gonna put a little complete seasoning in it. Some black pepper. I got a can of uh, cream of mushroom, okay? I got a pack of Lipton onion mushroom mix that I'm gonna put off in now. Um, I'm gonna add a pack of gravy just for the color and the richness on it, y'all. And I got the herb gravy uh, beef mix, okay? Kind of well done. And uh, we got an onion. And the red bell pepper, and we got an egg. A half onion, red bell pepper, and an egg. And we got some milk we're gonna put in there, okay? So starting this thing off, these can go up here. Starting this thing off, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs. We're gonna do probably about a fourth of breadcrumbs. And it's just some regular Virgo panko breadcrumbs, and it just got cilantro lime mix in it. You can get plain, you can get whatever kind you want. Okay, so again, that's about three pounds of ground beef, y'all. I also set my oven, all over with preheating my oven to 350 degrees. Okay, so let's get this cracking. If I can open up these breadcrumbs, y'all. Okay, okay, okay. So to this, I'm gonna add because you can, if you did fresh breadcrumbs with your own um, bread, with regular white bread, you'll do like three slices. So for Three slices I'm gonna do. This is a four, I'm gonna do two for one four of so, uh, this dry bread crumb. Well, one fourth should be one look bread. So, I'm gonna do three. I'm gonna do three. I have you choose, okay? Got this egg I'm gonna put in here, and actually I'm gonna beat this egg before I put it in there. And also, I'm going to put um, some milk in here too, y'all. I'm going to put like two tablespoons of milk, three tablespoons of milk. Right there. Your beaten egg. Boom. Okay. Put your little onions in now. You can dice them up, slice them, do them however you want to. Put your little onions in now. And that's just a half an onion, but I, I don't have to use all of it, y'all. Okay? I'm just gonna put enough in there for the season to your own taste. If you don't like onions, you don't have to put it in now. If you want to add mint scarlet, you can. But I'm sticking with my onion flavor. I'm trying not to deter from that. I'm going to use a little uh, garlic powder in here. But most of it's going to be about my onion flavor with this here with my salad bear steak, y'all. Dicing up some onion in here. It's a little red. You can use whatever red uh, bell pepper you want. It could be red, green, yellow, orange. It don't matter, but I'm using red today. I like the sweetness of it. Okay. Okay, y'all. 
out. So I done put the onion and the bell pepper in now. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put two tablespoons of my uh, connect, uh, cream of mushroom in here too. This is a half a teaspoon, so I'm gonna have to use four. Set that to the side right now. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of tonus. Season to your own taste, people. I can't, hey, y'all know how to do it. Light pepper. Mm, put a little, your complete seasoning. Garlic powder. And your onion powder. Okay, that's that. I'm also going to take a little bit of my lip and onion mushroom package. You can get regular onion or you can get the onion and mushroom like I did. I, I did that because I'm doing a mushroom and onion Salisbury steak. So I like to put a little bit in here too. And then, oh Lord, look at me. If you don't get dirty, you ain't cooking. If you don't get dirty, you ain't cooking. Okay. Also to this, the last thing that I'm gonna put in here, y'all, is some time. You need your time, okay? And we're gonna put about a tablespoon of the time in here. I don't know, it just brings that to me. See? A tablespoon, y'all. Okay, y'all. So we're gonna get our hands dirty because now we got to mix this all together and make our little sour bear balls, okay? So y'all see what I put in there. I put a little breadcrumbs. I put some milk. I put some thyme. I put my seasoning, my onion powder, garlic powder. Did they see you put the milk in there? Yes, they did. They did. Okay. I put two tablespoons of the oil. Uh, of my cream of mushroom, which I'm gonna add a, one more half and one more tablespoon in there. Okay. Um, onion and red bell pepper. What I'm missing? A little bit of the onion, um, onion and mushroom lipton in here. Okay. So that's all you're gonna do to this. And I put a beaten one beaten egg in here. Okay. So we mix. I'm mixing all that together, y'all. That's all you do. Okay. Now, I got a pan over here that I'm gonna spray with a little vegetable spray. A little pan. Okay. Did I get in the foil, y'all? I don't even know if I got some foil. But I'm gonna spray this little pan with my vegetable spray. Bring it over here. I sprayed that down good, y'all. Just a little vegetable oil. Or you can use your grease, whatever you got, butter, whatever, just spray it. Okay? And now we're gonna make us some uh, Salisbury steak. Y'all know when you do Salisbury steak, you make them in the shape of a football. Not no hamburger patty, not no meatball, but a football, y'all, okay? So. We got that one, and we're gonna keep doing it until we're done. I don't know how many this gonna make. But I knew I should've got me another pike of ground beef. But it is what it is. I'm probably about to make about five or six of so. them. of ground beef that I use, I got me six uh, Salisbury balls out of it, okay? So if you want, you need more than six of them, you need to make get more than three pounds of ground beef, and then you just twerk and double your recipe as you see fit, okay? So as y'all can see, you got six out of what I'm giving you. So now we're finna proceed on to making this uh, gravy sauce for the killer. So I'm gonna take the rest of my um, cream of mushroom, I want a cup of milk, a uh, can of milk in here. Mm. 
and a half a can of water. And I'm just shaking around, getting all my excess cream, cream out of there, okay? To this, we're going to add the pack of the herb gravy mix. Okay. I'm going to add a little more time. About a half a teaspoon of time in there. Okay. Also, I'm going to add a little bit of soy sauce. About a tablespoon, about a tablespoon of soy sauce. That's all you need. And then we're going to mix this here. So again, that was a can of milk, a half a can of water, one pack of gravy mix, and then the remaining portion of the cream of mushroom from the four tablespoons that I had put inside my um, Salisbury steak, y'all, okay? And then we're gonna bake this at 350 degrees for about 30 minutes, y'all, 30 to 40 minutes. And then the remaining pack of this uh, Lipton onion, we're gonna put on there too. We got to boil this too, you cook it with foil on it. Okay, so this is our mixture. Again, it's milk, a can, a can size of milk, a half can size of water. You got a little onion pack in here. You got a gravy pack in here. You got some thyme, okay? Um, I think that's all I put in here, okay? So we mix that up really, really well. This gonna pour over to the meat along with some mushrooms. I got some baby feather mushrooms here. Okay. All this up. And then we're gonna take it and pour it over our, over here in this pan with our meats. Okay. And just even distribute everything out along here. And then again, we're gonna cook it, bake it for another. We're gonna bake this here for like 30 to 45 minutes, y'all. 40 minutes until done. Holy brown and done. Okay. And we're just gonna shape by half of it in here because we already used some in the gravy itself. But we're gonna put this right on top of this, y'all, okay? And as y'all can see, I really ain't use no more seasoning but what I put in my South Bear steak, y'all. Okay? And then we're gonna foil this and bake it. Boil it and bake it for 30 to 40 minutes or until done, okay? And that's it. I'll be back with y'all them homemade man potatoes. Yes! Y'all, I'm just cutting up my potatoes to make these homemade mashed potatoes, y'all. Red skin potatoes. I ain't even peeling them. I'm just cutting them. We are gonna boil them, get them a little tender, and we are gonna mix them up with some cream cheese and cheese and butter, y'all. Quick, simple, something to lay that dog on Salisbury steak and gravy on. Baby, baby, yes. So that's all I'm doing right now. I'm cutting up my little red potatoes. I just cut up two. Oh, sis, I got like seven left from what I didn't put in my shrimp pot earlier today, y'all. So, we're just making a little pot. Nothing spectacular. 
But that's all potatoes. I'm doing. Then we're gonna put that gravy in that Salisbury steak on top of y'all. And I had some green beans in there. I might, I might go on and blanch them off for some. I don't know. But I know I gotta have me some mashed potatoes with Salisbury steak, y'all. Y'all know Tip and Never Stir you Wrong, baby. Tip is back, baby. Yes! Uh-huh. Let me get these cut up and put on. Put a little salt water on them and boil them for probably about 10, 12. Okay, y'all. So I'm done dicing up my potatoes. I got them in some cold water. I'm gonna add some salt, some iodine salt to this. And we're gonna let them boil for like 10 to 12 minutes. See if they tender. If your fork go all the way through, they do it. Okay, if they not, we'll let them go for another to probably 15 minutes. Okay, so that's 10 to 12 to 15 minutes on these potatoes. Um, and salt your water good. Okay, and that's all we're gonna do. Let that come to a boil and get them tender. Then I'm gonna show y'all how we whip them up. And as you can see, I ain't put my meat in the oven yet, y'all. I had to send my guys to start to the store to get me some aluminum foil. I ain't had aluminum foil and I gotta cover it. So all of us just marry together and just be <laughs> Okay, y'all. I'm fine. We put the mess up these mashed potatoes, some red skin mashed potatoes, y'all. I done boiled them, got them soft. This is what I'm gonna mask them with, because this is what I got, y'all, okay? So we're gonna mash them down again. I, uh, when I pour the hot water off, I uh, wet them down with some cold water to stop the cooking time on them. And plus, you don't want them real hot when you mash them and making mashed potatoes because you don't want them to be loose. So you can get all gummy and rubber. This is a different whole consistency when you do it like that, okay? So we're gonna break these down. Back here, I got my pot on low, which I'm gonna take a stick of butter and an eight ounce cream cheese. We're gonna melt this down together over there. It's gonna be like a cream sauce. We're gonna need mashed potatoes. I also got some cheese to go in it too, y'all. So, yeah, it's gonna be on the pie. And we're gonna add a little garlic powder to it and make some garlic mashed potatoes. Okay, so let's start mashing these down. We got a little milk to go in here too. So, y'all know I make it do what it do. How I know how. Whatever I got, that's what I use. I'm hood rich and I. I get down high, I get down. I ain't trying to be all fancy and got to have this equipment, that equipment, none of that, y'all. As long as I got something to make it happen, oh, it's gonna happen, y'all. It's gonna happen. So yeah, I got my my uh mixer beetle to mash these mashed potatoes. Yes. Okay. I'm gonna continue to mash them in a minute. Let me put my butter back here and my cream cheese and start melting it down. And it's just on medium heat. I told y'all I was gonna blanch off some uh, green beans that I already snapped y'all, okay? Get the cream cheese here. So this is just butter and cream cheese and just do something to your taters, y'all. The taters. We're gonna melt that down together. Just on a little low heat. Turn it up a little bit. Get back to mashing my taters. Cause when that melt together, we're gonna pull them off in here, okay? Add a little milk. So y'all know Tip and Never Stir You Wrong, baby. And this is how I got the mashing, this is how we're gonna get it. I like mine still with a little lumps in it anyway. I don't like it real smooth. I like mine to have that little Y'all ever went to uh, Golden Corral, got their potatoes, their red skin potatoes, and they still had a little lumps in their stuff to hide like mine, y'all. So again, y'all, I done mashed up my potatoes. Yes. And back here was a stick of old butter, pure butter, salted, and an eight ounce thing of cream cheese, y'all, okay? I just wanted to melt it down a little bit, and then we're gonna mix it in with this, uh, with the potatoes. Also to the potatoes, we're just making this like a cream sauce, y'all. I'm gonna add a little milk, homogenized milk, y'all, to it. That was probably about a half a cup there. And we're just gonna put it in here, make it more creamy. I'm gonna add some garlic powder to it. I don't want the garlic taste on my potatoes. Season to your own taste. Add some black pepper. Yeah, 
Then we're gonna pour it and mix it in with our potatoes, y'all. And we're just gonna get that nice, smooth, and creamy. Mm hmm. Y'all see it? That's all you do. Melt that down to get it creamy. Like a little cream sauce. And add it over into your potatoes. I can turn that off. Now we're finna combine it in our potatoes. And that was eight ounce cream cheese Philadelphia. One stick of pure butter, salted. A half a cup of milk, garlic powder, and black pepper. Mm -hmm. And that's all I did was mix that up in there, y'all. Okay, y'all, so I got my potatoes mixed up with that sauce. As you can see, just some white red skin potatoes. I left mine a little thick because I'm gonna sop that gravy in that sauce. So I was very steak on mine, but if you want yours a little loose, you add a little more milk and loosen them up. Now, we're gonna blanch these green beans down off in for like five minutes. Then we're gonna stop the cooking process with some cold water and shock them. Then we're gonna saute them saute them. So we're gonna let them come to a boil about five minutes, pour the water off, shock them with some cold water. Then I'm gonna put them back in the pan and saute them with some butter, onion, and um, red bell pepper, y'all. And the only seasoning I'm gonna put in there, salt, pepper, and garlic powder, or some onion powder. And a little bit of toners, y'all. Y'all know I can't stop it unless I put my toners in it. Let me get that down. And that's it. And this meal will be complete. We'll have some homemade mashed potatoes, some sauteed green beans, with my homemade Salisbury mushroom steak. Boom. Okay, y'all, so I bought these full boil. They've been boiling for five minutes. We're gonna pull this off. Pull the hot water off, y'all. Y'all see what I did? I just pulled that hot water off. Now I need to shock them with some cold water. I'm just gonna run cold water on them. Stop that cooking time on them. So we're gonna saute these. I still want a little bit of crunch with them. So we're stopping the cooking time with this cold water to shock them. Time. Okay, y'all, so I got a half a stick of butter in here that I'm melting down. Half a stick of pure butter. I got a half a bit red bell, that's the rest of that red bell pepper, and onion, okay? We're gonna saute them beans down in here with that. So I'm just slice this up in here. Y'all cut them how you want to. Quick and simple to the point, y'all. Y'all know how I do it. So tip of what? Never throw you what? Wrong, baby. Yes. I told y'all I was gonna be back and got something for y'all today, baby. So y'all might see this up tonight. Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. Yes. <laughs> okay. Blanch these for five minutes in boiling salt water. Start the cooking time with some cold water. Now we're gonna saute them in here with the onion and the bell pepper and the seasoning, y'all. So I'm gonna do that. Saute them up, fry them down a little bit. Let them go for like five or six minutes and they will be ready. And that's all you do to be green beans, y'all. That is it. All 
we doing the sauteing these now for a good five, six, ten minutes. And they'll be ready. And as you can see, the seasoning and all that is sticking to these here beans. And I just put them in with the uh, seasoning in with that butter. Okay, y'all. So here's the Salisbury steaks. So I was just taking my gravy and running it over there, y'all. Look at that. That is some beautiful brown mushroom gravy. Yes. And over here again, we got all the potatoes. And we got these uh, sauteed green beans. I sauteed them for 20 minutes, covered on medium heat until they got tender. I also went back and added a dash of salt for when I tasted it, it was kind of bland, so I had to put a little table salt on it, okay, y'all? So we're gonna plate this up and show you what we're working with. I'm gonna get these potatoes and put down first. Potatoes, y'all, look at that. Still thick, thick how I like it. I'm gonna take the mushroom gravy and drizzle on top. And then take one of these size berries and put on the side right there. Yes. Yes, everybody. And these sauteed green beans, y'all. Again, I cooked them for 20 minutes until tender. Added a little salt to it because it was still a little bland. But this is quick, simple, and easy, y'all. And this is what I got for you today, y'all. Hey, Todd, I need you to come in here and try this here plate. But that is my homemade Salisbury steak and mashed potatoes with the mushroom gravy and my sauteed green beans, y'all. This is what I got for you. Yeah, it's good. I like this. Okay, y'all, this has been Cooking with Tilt. Like, comment, and subscribe, and tell everybody to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay. And boom!